Hello everyone, this is Lupe from Bruno Planning. Thank you so much for joining me today. This here is my Erin Condren Daily Life Planner. I hope this video gives you some inspiration on how to use your Erin Condren Daily Pages, whether it's the binder pages or your Daily Duo. These binder pages are actually very similar to the new Daily Duo spread with the to-do on the right and the hourly on the left. And I will be doing more plan with me videos of my daily and weekly which I actually will be putting those in here as well. So feel free to subscribe and join me then. So let's get started. So I actually took out the page from my life planner so that it's a little bit easier to write on while filming. Then I just put a piece of paper here so that I can write a little bit easier with my pens as well. I usually like to start with writing my to-dos, kind of like the important things that I need to get done during the day and then schedule them after I write them down. So let me go ahead and do that first. Okay, so now these are actually color coded. If you notice, this teal means cleaning or household chores. The purple is for school related tasks. The pink is for me things. And the black is just for general tasks. Okay, so now my process is to take these tasks and schedule them into the hourly section along with my daily routines, which I will also write down here. And I like to go in order from morning to evening so I can see how my day is looking as I go and I can adjust if needed if I'm kind of scheduling too much at the same time. So my day will start around 7 o'clock. My husband will be going to the grocery store. So I'm just going to put this little shopping cart icon. I love that one. It's so cute. And I probably will be saying that a lot throughout this video because I think that all of these are very cute, um, but I really do like this one a lot. So he's gonna be going to the grocery store. So I'm just trying to find my pen, there we go. Groceries. I will probably be doing some of my morning things, making sure, um, looking through emails and practicing my handwriting, which is something I'm trying to focus on a little bit. So this is another stamp that I really, really love. Oh, look at how cute that coffee is. All right. So yeah, so groceries and then yeah, I'll be doing my emails. Responding, deleting most of my promotion ones. I don't know if you guys get as many you know, advertisements and promotions as I do, but sometimes I don't even look at them, I just kind of delete them. So, um, emails, and then I will do some handwriting as well. And this is in cursive, but I am working on just my, my plain script of handwriting. I don't know why I decided to do this in cursive, but as I was doing it, I was kind of regretting it because it's a longer word than I thought. <laughs> and in the middle of it, I'm like, how do you spell handwriting? Okay, so that should take care of that. And then when he gets home, I definitely will help put the groceries away and all of that. Um, today, I w or tomorrow, Friday, I will have class at 10 o'clock. So at nine, get my schedule or my ruler here, I'm sorry. So I know that the new daily pages will have the half hour. I don't usually use the half hour, but here I do want it. And I'm sorry if you can hear my husband. He's actually right below me and he's very loud. <laughs> so you probably will hear him throughout the video. It just comes up from through the floor, I guess. <laughs> okay. So yeah, so I know the new ones have the half hour and this will be a little bit easier with that. I don't have to draw these lines, but for now, that's what I have to do with these pages. 
And I actually think that the, um, because of the half hour, these are a little bit longer, or oh, sorry, these are a little bit wider, right? Um, and I think this one goes to 9 p.m. and the new one goes up to 7, which for my purposes, I think is an okay, okay thing. I don't stay up very late. All right, so my class starts at 10, but at around 9, I like to send my kids, my students, um, a remind message reminding them that we're going to meet at 10 a.m. <laughs> and if you don't know, I am a high school math teacher. And I have been teaching for about... I think six years now. Okay, so I'll send them a remind. And then around 9.30, I will set up for life. So I'll make sure my laptop's charged and my iPad's working and my pencil's working for the iPad. Everything's ready to go. And actually, this is going to be the last day that I am meeting with them through um, through Teams, through our, our, you know, video conferencing, and it's going to be kind of emotional. So I'm going to just put a little heart here. But, you know, it's, I'm going to say it's kind of bittersweet that the year is ending, but I, I really don't know. I feel almost more bitter than, than, than sweet. You know, I feel like the year was cut off. And I feel like I wish I would have known this was going to happen. I mean, obviously... You can never know, but I would have appreciated that last day with my students a little bit more before all of this. Okay. And so I use these little boxes here um, just to separate some of the things that I'm doing. So, you know, everything doesn't look the same and just kind of get lost. So this is one of the things you'll see different ones that I use, but this is one that I really like. It fits perfectly in here. And even with the with the bigger ones that are going to come out um, with a new layout, it's, it's going to fit perfectly. So I will write, let's see. It's a little weird like that. Okay, there you go. And then speaking of my students, by that time, our mailman should be here. Just trying to find my e-pad here real quick. Um, I wrote all of my students some postcards. And I'm going to mail them today. You know what, let me write postcards first. So by this time, they should have already been picked up, but I will just make sure that they have them. Postcards. Make sure that they're even picked up by this time so I can check that off. I love this little letter. It's so fitting. All right. So after this, I'm just trying to look at my to-do here. Um, contact parents. So right after that first period, I will take some time to contact any students or parents that I need to contact. Um, our last week is actually next week, but we don't meet every day, and so this is just the last day that we're going to meet. So I just need to make sure everyone's aware of grades and you know, making sure I say goodbye to the parents as well. And so Skyward is the grading and messaging system that we use. I don't know if you guys have heard of it. Um, so I'll just write that just to remind me to look at that and send them a message. And then this little cutie, I wonder if I should put it here or here. Okay. These stamps I just got a little while ago and these have just become my absolute favorite. This little laptop. And I'm not trying to be super picky here, but sometimes if I don't get enough ink, I take my Erin Condren dual tip marker. So I love the way that this reads. And then just kind of go over it a little bit. If it didn't come out exactly, I know that probably wouldn't bother anybody, but I don't know. Sometimes we just want it to look perfect, right? Okay, so Skyward will be there. And then at around to noon what I like to tune into so this so I, I didn't write this next thing on my to-do because 
it's mostly just something that I like to tune into and it doesn't have to be a task or something that I have to get done. It's just something that is happening and I can do or not do if I want to. So this is just something I like to listen to. It's um, my Shinoda from a band that I was really into in high school and still am. They haven't really made new music, music in a while, but he likes to create new music every day and he's been doing that for a few weeks, few weeks now. And I really like just to tune in. So Shinoda. Live and he's just making music and I'm just listening to it. And again, these little boxes are so cute because you can use them just to make it a little bit different than what you already have. And then the icons fit perfectly here, except I didn't apply a lot of pressure. And I'm probably gonna mess up most of these stamps um, more so than I usually do just because of how I'm writing it with the camera and just the angle of it. Um, so I might not apply as much pressure as I usually do. So this isn't an, this isn't all you know an everyday thing. It's just probably because I'm not doing it right right now. So this is another little box that I like to use. Let's see. All right. I got a little extra ink there, but I actually kind of like the way that that looks. If you don't like it, you can always white it out. But those are these are actually somewhat older stamps that have um, very shallow lines. So sometimes the ink get on it, but that is completely fine. So I did want to organize my cart and I've seen a lot of pictures out online for inspiration. Um, mine is a big old mess right now. I don't know where half of my stuff is just because I've been really busy with end of the school year kind of stuff and it just, Got, it's gotten to the point where I have to write it down that I have to do it because it's just kind of chaos and I can't find anything that I need when I need it. And again, just so much good inspiration out there on how to organize your cart. I definitely will be doing that. So I'm just fine, trying to find my ink pad. There we go. All right, so after this, all right. So this time I will be doing some training for Microsoft. Okay. Um, and I like to keep it short here, by the way. I don't know if you noticed, but I'm not writing, you know, contact students and parents. I just wrote a Skyward. Um, I didn't write training here just because this is kind of really specific. Um, and then here, I just really want the gist of it. And if I don't remember, like, what does Skyward mean? Oh, well, that means I need to contact students and parents. So this is just so that it's a little bit cleaner and a little bit nicer to look at um, hour by hour rather than writing the whole thing a second time. Sorry, I had to sneeze, so I had to cut that out a little bit. Um, but two o'clock is my lunch. I don't know if any of you guys have a similar lunch time, but that's just the same lunch time I have at school. And so I've been trying to keep a consistent um, regular schedule and that's just what I've been accustomed to so that's just how I'm doing it still all right and then during lunch I do want to watch a show that's never have I ever and I don't know if you guys have heard of it it just came out recently I think on Netflix and as I get older sometimes I don't feel like I can relate to shows about high school but this is actually a pretty funny show and I'm really enjoying it. All right, little TV, love that one. I do have another one that's more like a old school television. I'll have to show you guys one day, but this is a newer one that I, that's really, really cute. All right, so after lunch, I usually like to do my cleaning. So I have to do the floors and then use this really cute broom. Even though I won't be sweeping, I'll be dusting and vacuuming the floor. And by the way, I do like to keep the colors the same um, in terms of how I wrote it in my to-do. So this is cleaning, so I will put, I will use this nice teal color floors. 
All right, and then by this time as well, I should have, or I'm not, I should have, but FedEx should have picked up my package. So I'll just have to, so I'm just gonna sit here actually just to remind myself to look, make sure they picked it up, make sure it's on its way. So I'm shipping an iPad that I actually got replaced. All right. So four shouldn't take me a whole hour, right? Um, but I will definitely be starting, if not had already started, to edit this video that I'm filming right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put that for four, but it's actually going to probably be started a little bit before that. So I really like this YouTube. And there's actually, let me show you here real quick. There's actually a bunch. So you have YouTube, you got Facebook, Instagram, which I kind of placed a little bit wrong there, and Twitter and Pinterest. So cute. All right, so I'll definitely be editing this video in it. And again, I probably will start that a little bit earlier than three. So what I like to do is I like to take one of these, which is kind of like the equivalent of washi tape, a thin one. They're like these little strands. And what I can do to just note that this might start a little bit earlier is just put that right there. And so I could start this around three and then go all the way to five. I don't know if it'll take that long to edit, but it's good to kind of give myself a good amount of time, especially if I'm trying to do other things in the same time or, you know, maybe we're trying to get dinner ready. Or actually, dinner I think is pizza, so maybe ordering pizza around that time. All right, so dinner. Dinner. So nothing to get ready, actually, just to order. So that's great. And then what I do like to write each day is the dishes. Now, we are just having pizza, so if we don't have any dishes, there'll still be something from throughout the day and I still like to write it down so that I, I know to clean up the kitchen and not leave anything. I don't know about you guys, but I definitely don't like to wake up and have to clean dishes first thing in the morning or tidy up the kitchen. I don't, I just don't. All right. So this little box is actually very similar to this one. I do like to use somewhat a consistent theme with the boxes you know like this is very trying oh, i'm trying to do <laughs> this is very rectangular okay math teacher so this is a rectangle right and this one is very kind of rectangular as well these are a little bit more of that same shape so it doesn't look too crowded or too too different and these are the same except the icons on the right in here i'm just going to put it on the left and then for this last part, I wanted to make sure I wrote down that I want to go outside. Oops, I kind of smudged that. No. <sighs> I need to figure out another situation here because it's hard for me to figure out my pressure because I don't usually plan like this here, standing up, like I said. Mm. Okay, we'll just leave it there for now. Let's see if I'll fix it later. All right, so like I was saying, I want to go outside. And I want to make sure I write that down because then sometimes it just won't, it won't happen for whatever reason. And I feel like this week I really haven't been outside. It's been raining a lot, so that's probably why. But I want to make sure that if it's a nice day, at least just sitting on the deck would be nice. Okay, so... The last part of the day will be just relaxing. And it's actually gonna be a little movie night and I love, I'm gonna show you guys what I do with this. We always forget what we watched or if we liked what we watched, 
So this is a nice way to write down, write down the title and then rate it. I'm sorry for my dirty fingers. Sometimes my stamp residue gets on them. So I write down the movie, the rating, and then we can look back to see, you know, if we like the movie or not, or even if we watched it, because like I said, we tend to forget. Okay, so that looks good. I included everything that I needed to do, plus some other things as well that I usually do. And now I'm just going to use this top part as I use it for like reminders, bills that need to be paid, um, payday, which is, this is actually a payday, so I'll be doing that in a second. But the first thing I'm gonna do is just make a little note here that, let's see, a little note to call Um, actually, I'll put call there. I'd call my mom and dad. So let me find my stamp for this. Okay, so here is my little phone. I'm gonna squirt this down because I can't see. So there's my little phone. And I need to call my mom and dad. And I don't know if you all write who you need to call but sometimes I just the day gets you know it gets filled up and then I don't remember just to take a second to think about who I need to call okay and by the way if you don't use stamps you can always use your functional stickers kind of you know how I'm doing them as well I don't know if you've thought about that or if you found any shops that work kind of like this but you know I've seen functional stickers that look pretty much like the ones that I'm using with my stamps. Just to give you kind of an idea of if you use more stickers and stamps, that's something that you can do with what you have. All right, so payday and it's me. All right, so next what I wanna do is pick the check mark color. So if you see my spreads, they kind of look like this. I use the mild liners for this. And I usually, I usually use a different color each day. So let me look at my mild liner page. So if you haven't seen this, it's on my Instagram. Um, and I'm just trying to see what color maybe I want to use for Friday. Mm -hmm. I've been using a lot of blues lately. I think I'm going to go gold. Yep, I think I'm going to go gold. I tend to use that one all the time, especially when I'm indecisive, like right now. So let me go ahead and get a gold one. And so I know that there are check marks for these, but there are some here that don't, or aren't included in this to do, so they don't have um, like a little box for a check. Um, it's okay if it's repeated. I don't mind just checking it off twice. I actually kind of like checking it off twice. <laughs> Makes it a little bit more um, satisfying. But what I like to do is I just take my mild liner and just draw little check marks on things that I want to make sure get done. So groceries are gonna get done, handwriting's gotta get done, sending this, and so on. So I just find little spaces where it looks okay. And you know, there's stuff that I don't need to check off like this. I don't need to check off lunch. Do 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 floors. And I do like to check off dishes, make sure I did that. Go outside, definitely. And then I don't need to check off movie night, but I do need to check off. And then I called my parents. All right, looking good. I think I picked the right color for this one. Okay, so there's one more stamp that I need to place on here before I move on to other things. So let me, this one is just a set of lines, and I'll show you in a second. So let me actually show you what I'm doing here. These are actually lines for bullets, but I'm just going to use the lines right here. Okay, let's see if I can do this well. All right, success, I think. 
there's actually a little bit of that line missing, but overall, not bad. Okay, so I'm just gonna fix that quickly. Okay, it's a little bit crooked. Um, it's probably because I was looking at it like this instead of moving it straight, but that's okay. So this is something that I use for notes for the day. Usually I write it at the end or I use at the end of the day or I write it the next morning if something happened and I want to write it down. Um, I know in the new setup there's more space here with the calendar whereas the calendar is here. Um, so I probably will be doing this on the top next to the calendar. I'm not quite sure yet where I want kind of my notes for the day to go. Um, so we'll see when, when I get those pages. I zoomed out a little bit so you can see the full page and I realized that I think I want to use some washi tape just to give it a little bit more color. I have been using this spread like this, um, but I have been delving into using a few more stickers and just kind of using the stash that I have. I usually use stickers for my teacher planner because it's bigger, more space to kind of fill up and make it nice and decorative. And um, these daily pages with the stamps, it always looks fine to me and it's very functional. Um, but I am trying to use some of mine, especially the washi, since these are already, um, they are already functional for me. So let's take a look at some. These are my seasonal ones, but I don't want those. I want these washi ones. Ooh. I think I like this blue one and actually has a, I think these are all rose gold, if you guys can see. I like the way the rose gold looks like with the May. So let me get this one out. And these albums I heard were out of stock from Amazon, so I'm sorry if you ask about this one. I think they are out of stock. I will still put the link below so you at least know what they're called. But I really do love these because they all they fit perfectly in here. I don't have to trim them, and these also fit perfectly. Okay, so I think I want to use this beautiful blue one. And I think these are from the teacher sticker books. And one thing I really should do is at least write down what edition it's from. And I didn't do that when I was organizing them, which probably was a mistake because I will have to um, redo it because I, lo I love these, especially this one. So let's go ahead and use that one. Now this one is a little bit thick, so should I keep it? The same thickness or should I cut it in half? Hmm. I think I'm gonna want to keep it as it is. So there we go. And then I have to be careful because the calendar's in the way. the cam calendar a little bit but I'm gonna trim it off right now or should I should I trim it off okay oof maybe I shouldn't have yep not going to <laughs> it's not coming off as easily as I thought it would because this isn't right this isn't washy washy if you want to you know say it like that this is um more of like a paper sticker right so it doesn't come off as nicely as washi paper but I'm okay with that We'll keep it there. All right, so that looks pretty nice. And I actually just remembered I forgot something and that was to do um, dinner right here. So let me get that stamp. So the video was cut off a little bit. I received a notification, um, but the only thing that I did was put this little sticker that has our meal for that day. Usually I put them in stickers because sometimes something doesn't work out and I need to move it. So I don't like putting it on the paper all the time. If I'm like almost 100% certain we'll be eating that, I'll put it on paper, but most of the time I like to use the stickers for that. And that was just a little stamp that I have with the, the spoon and the spatula. And then I was thinking that I wanted to maybe add a quote for teaching because this is going to be my last day with that class. So I was looking back at these and I realized that I wanted to continue that rose gold theme since it's so pretty with the May. And I think I want to use this one here. 
that says teach, inspire, guide, and mentor. I don't know how much it's going to fit, so let's see. I think I'll put it here. My scissors are right there, right? And you know what? I think I want to go ahead and white out the little circles here. And I, I don't like this white out very much. If you guys have a recommendation for white out, please let me know in the comments because I really I like this for school because they're they're not very expensive and they just do the job but for this you can see it pretty clearly so something that's a little bit more white would be great but that's what I have for now so let's see now I can do this Teach, inspire, guide, and mentor doesn't fit. Okay, so I'm gonna have to just do up to guide. All right, I am loving that rose gold. And I probably will change the sticker. So if you see pictures of this, I'm probably gonna change it because this one is gold. That's really pretty. All right. So I think that might be it for the stickers. So now just to kind of finish up, I do use the calendar a little bit. So I'm going to use some of my mild liners. And I like to, wrong tip, mark off the weeks that I've already passed with this gray. And I'm really sorry I forgot who I saw do this, um, but I definitely loved it and wanted to try it out. So. I don't know if they do it exactly like me, but um, this is kind of an idea that I had seen on Instagram, I believe. And since I'm using this, um, what's this color again? Gold? <laughs> it's that obvious, it's gold, right? I think. So I'm gonna use that same one for the calendar because we are in this week right here. All right. And I do use this just because we are in school, but I think if um, once we're out of school next week, I don't know how much I will be using the calendar. It is very tiny as well, and I'm not, I don't have great vision, so this is a little small for me. I'm wondering if I'll use it more with it being a little bit bigger. I know a lot of people are covering it, so I really don't know how, I, you know, I want to play with that later on. Okay, so I think I'm almost done. I think the last thing that I want to do is just finish off some touch-ups here like I want to put that little line on pizza and I think I want to color in some of these stamps I've been trying this as well in some of my spreads so I'll have to play around with this more but I really like maybe to color in this heart and do probably just you know what I'm probably gonna do it's very pink it's gonna and go over it with some purple. And just another way for me to be creative and just use this a little bit more. So this is a YouTube, so I'm going to make this red. And then I think So let me zoom out a little bit, put it back into my planner so you guys can see what it looks like along with some of my other spreads as well. All right, so I think that looks good. This was definitely a little bit more experimental for me as well, just using more stickers and using more color on the stamps. I have been trying, let me show you. So I have been trying to use some variation of those two things here as well. This week has definitely been more colorful than the last few weeks you can see. Um, but I really wanted to kind of make this a nice bright day, especially with it being the last day that I see my kids. It's nice to have something inspiring, something that um, it's nice to look at and just bright for me. Um, it really, my spreads really depend on the day that I'm planning it and also just the day that I'm going to be looking at it. Um, so that's kind of my, my way of, of, of planning what, what I want to use for that day. So don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see more. I would love to see your comments and answer any questions as well as any suggestions for future videos. And thanks so much for watching.